just wanted to do a quick tutorial on implementing GraphQL service in uh, Spring Boot in Java. What we need in the dependencies is the Spring Boot starter GraphQL. Then we'll need Spring Boot starter web and we will need Spring Boot starter web socket in case we are trying to use subscriptions. I have created the schema.graphql file uh, which actually holds the definition for the query mutation and the subscription. Then we can see how we can implement the implementation for these definitions. What we need to do is we need to define a controller and we need to use a query mapping with the same name as the uh, query name here in this case we have a if we look at our uh, query we have a hello query which maps to the query mapping annotation similarly for mutation we have a send message uh, a mutation which is mapping to the send message uh, mutation mapping and it is taking an argument of string which is defined in the uh, mutation mapping for subscription it is little more complex than just returning pojos uh, what you need to do is you need to re return an interface uh, you need to actually return a instance of a publisher uh, so this is a flux is a implementation of reactor publisher so what i'm doing here is so what i'm doing here is I'm returning a publisher instance of flux, which is generating random long numbers for every one second. So if anyone has subscribed for a new message, what they will see is they will see random long numbers generated over the WebSocket connection. Regarding WebSocket connection, there is a small uh, thing that you need to be aware of number one you must specify the correct path uh, for the WebSocket connection in your application dot properties and this one I have added to enable the graph IQL interface so we can debug uh, you know we can have a playground to play with uh, these mutations and queries on the backend itself So let's run this and see what we get. Cool. If you look at the debug console, you can see that the GraphQL endpoint is available under slash uh, GraphQL and the WebSocket interface is also available at slash uh, GraphQL. So we go to our Graph IQL playground. We can test out the query for example the hello query which is implemented to return a string nice so we can also look at our mutation uh, if you look at our mutation the mutation is send message and it takes an optional uh, message input Yeah, it is returning whatever we are getting in the message. It is basically echoing back whatever we get in the message. Yeah. And if we look at our subscription, yeah, let's see our subscription. We subscribe to new message and which is supposed to return um, random long values see it is continuously getting updated over the web socket cool so that's all for this uh, short tutorial